What's going on gang? Welcome to a day in my life. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've already been up for a little while. I get up at 6 a.m. Right now, it's just shortly after 7 a.m. If you wanna see my full-on morning routine, please let me know. Meditation is a part of that too. That's very, very important. You need to grow new gray matter in your brain, but now I am starving, and so I've decided to make some pancakes. Now, I am on a very strict gut cleanse overhaul diet right now. I do this once a year to completely clean up my gut. Today is also a workout day. We're going to try to go for a walk. Just random things. A day of life in my work day and all of this good stuff. So we're going to make some gut friendly gluten free paleo I believe. Don't come at me. I haven't seen the full recipe yet but candida friendly just the healthiest version of a pancake recipe. It is not my recipe but let's get started because I'm hungry. Oh yeah did I mention this is obviously a full day of eating as well. This recipe looks good. Here it is. Candida friendly coconut flour pancakes. This is what they should look like. I bet this is going to turn into one of those really fun nailed it things. Okay so these are easy to make gluten free, grain free, dairy free, sugar free, can be nut free. Anyway here we go. Candida friendly coconut flour pancakes. They look all right. Now, I would make smaller pancakes if I was you. This is also, I assume, for two people, but I actually eat a lot. Super smart me, just remembered you can't use maple syrup. You can melt down alcohol-free vanilla extract with some stevia and some coconut oil or earth balance, that's what it's called. It's a soy-free, dairy-free spread. If you wanna make syrup, however, I'm gonna make a berry compote instead while my pancakes cool off enough to eat. So I just started with a teaspoon of earth balance. Pot is on medium. Not only that, but you gotta make it sweet, right? So I'm gonna add in some stevia as well. Yum. So I'm gonna eat this while I catch up on some YouTube that I enjoy watching, which is usually some health and fitness vloggers. And then I'm gonna answer some emails while I have my coffee and I'll tell you what I have for coffee because we don't have caffeine around here. I know, shocking. This is all that remains. But that was nasty. It was like cardboard. I chose that recipe because I had three eggs in it and a quarter cup of almond milk. No, it was absolute no. Very compote. That was mine. I don't suggest you make it. I will never waste food, so I will finish this. I'm probably gonna crumble it up in some yogurt and berries later. I don't even know, but. No. No, no. Guess what? We've had a change of plans. It is going to snow today, so I'm gonna walk now. It's about 10 after 9 a.m., so I'm gonna go for my walk. Snow starts around 11 to get heavier. I have my weight training session today. Make sure you do resistance training every single week. Without resistance training up to the age of 40, you lose up to one pound of muscle per year. This comes predominantly from your core stabilization structures. This is why old people have walkers. They can't really move well. There are some other reasons, but they fall and break some hips, right? So let's prevent that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the pants that I got because in Canada it's mighty cold although today it's pretty warm. Do you ever put something down and your cat is like sweet somewhere to sit? Yeah. Anyway check out these jeans. Look up. Look up. Get up. Get up. Get, I'm sorry. Here. You can have your blanket. There we go. That's actually my old baby blanket. She loves sitting on my clothes so I thought giving her that would help. Right? Did it? Not really. You still like the clothes. Put these here because I was going to show you them. They are insulated jeans by Lois. 
to be honest, these were a gift, so I don't even know how you can acquire them. But if I can, I will link them below. They are mighty warm, so we're gonna don those and head outside for a walk. I live in a gorgeous neighborhood. It's gonna be a nice walk. Let's get at it. Forgot to take my supplements, so I wanna show you what I take because I'm always asked. In here, there is cranberry, vitamin D, B12, calcium, magnesium, vitamin C, and fish oil, and I also take a probiotic that is refrigerated because those are the best kinds. So we're gonna down this, then we're gonna go. All right, we are ready to go. I have my headphones on. They act as earmuffs as well as being headphones. I usually listen to podcasts on my walk and while I work out. By the way, my current favorite podcast is called The School of Greatness with Lewis Howes. I have linked that below also. I'll tell you what the headphones are. They are the Sony WH-1000XM4 wireless industry leading noise canceling overhead headphones silver say that five times fast, but they are the leading edge of technology. I wear my headphones when I work. I take a lot of work calls while I walk on my headphones. And so I needed them. I'm also gonna show you my car. I keep getting followers saying, please show me your car. I never did show anybody the inside of my car or the outside for that matter. So it is mighty dirty, but this is real life, right? There's no point in getting a car wash during a week full of snowstorms. So let's go outside. I'll show you the car and then I will get to my walk. Okay, there's the car in all of her glory. These are the 21 inch spiders. They are amazing. Yes, I have winter tires on those bad boys. And the inside of the car. I had it custom designed. This is carbon fiber, heating steering wheel. Dash is coated with leather. As you can see there, we've got the carbon fire trim, the agate gray seating. This is my love, my toy, and also is very practical. All right, let's get on to this walk. Walk her up. I guess I forgot to mention the car is a 2021 Porsche Macan S. That was my ultimate retirement dream goal that I achieved last year, actually in 2020. If you wanna see more about that, check out some recent videos. Alternatively, you can type Porsche into the search bar of my channel and you will have those videos pop up. See, these are the kind of people I wanna be friends with who don't mind the snow, are still willing to get out here and do something fun. That's not even a snow fort, that's a snow castle. That is taller than me. Let's talk a little bit about why movement is important. Now, a lot of people talk about cardiovascular health. Cardiovascular health, yeah, okay. You need, need to be walking a minimum of 20 minutes three times a week because that is the best pumping mechanism that your body has to rid itself of all of the old cells as we grow, as we age, as we heal, and as we transform, our cells divide and multiply constantly, right? So you need to be walking to help your body get rid of old cells. That is the best pumping mechanism that the body has for this. If you wanna do it more for body weight transformation, cardiovascular health, you wanna start walking about 30 minutes, five times a week at minimum. I go for about an hour a day, even with all of this craziness anyway i thought i would touch on that get your movement in it is very important don't be a slug just because it's winter thank you for coming on my walk with me it's always nicer to walk with a friend right so make sure you do actually reach out to your friends if you want someone to walk with it is totally allowed in this crazy world right now anyway i don't know if it's because i had bricks for breakfast and they're sitting in my tummy like anvils or what but i am not feeling like my workout right now so i'm gonna show you what i have for my coffee then I will get on to that workout okay so these are my beverages of choice normally I put collagen in my coffee but I had that in the pancake recipe Ugh, brick recipe so I won't be having that I love having bone broth this stuff is seriously good for your gut as I am on a gut cleanse overhaul right now also organic roasted dandelion root tea this is excellent for helping to support your liver and detox your body for coffee I have Swiss 
water processed decaffeinated coffee. Swiss water processed is the only decaf coffee you should be drinking. It is available in the K-cups as you just saw with mine. It is available in any form that you could otherwise want to enjoy. However, the decaffeinating process of coffee is seriously toxic and so if they use a lot of chemicals, it's best to get the Swiss water processed decaf to know that you're safe. Caffeine is seriously harmful for a woman's body. It's also the leading cause of cellulite. It speeds up the energy loop through the hypothalamus. That's the timekeeper of the brain. So it starts aging us at a much faster rate. It loosens our skin, promoting wrinkles. Cellulite, the reason why coffee or caffeine can cause cellulite or contribute to cellulite is because it unbalances the mineral corticoids in our body. So you really want to be careful with caffeine. If you do enjoy caffeine, please keep it to at least one cup, especially before 12 noon. Otherwise, if you want to get really scientific, you can go two cups until about 2.30 p.m., but you really don't want to have too much caffeine. Caffeine later on in the day is going to suppress our weight loss hormone that should be kicking in with our repair hormone at nighttime to get our bodies transforming effectively. So that's my tip on caffeine. Let's make this coffee. Better half coconut cream and almond beverage unsweetened. This is so good as a creamer. If you just put plain old almond milk in your coffee, it's not gonna be a good creamer. This is a Keurig frother. You can pick this up at Canadian Tire if you're Canadian. You can probably get it on Amazon. Anyway, I have officially figured out the level of liquid that should go in my coffee, so I am gonna measure it. I put a third cup of almond milk. And then I put two tablespoons of the creamer. It's quite sludgy until it does melt. I also put the collagen into the frother normally. You know what, I'm gonna put three tablespoons today. Feeling a little creamier today. Also, I am a huge aficionado of Disney mug collecting. Here we've got Pooh. This has gotta be my favorite and I can't remember his little toy's name. Tigger, we've got some old school vintage cups. Remember these? I picked these up at a flea market, amazing. And the Haunted Mansion, it says hurry back on the inside. Love this one too. Anyway, yeah, big Disney nerd over here. Mug should make us happy, right? So we're gonna use the good old Stitch mug today. So, in it goes. Now what you want to do is you want to press the button on top of your Keurig at the exact same time as you press the froth button. Now you can make things cold if you like iced coffee or hot. No iced coffee for me in the winter, thanks, especially after that walk. Being that I'm using one hand, I will press that first, then I will press this. The strong button really just means more coffee, so that's all it does to make it stronger. And we will enjoy this. Once again, I'm gonna put stevia in there. I usually use two packets. Okay, we are watching the School of Greatness. I'm gonna have my coffee. I'm gonna do a bit more work. I'm gonna hang out with Zoe, who thinks she needs all of the attention. And uh, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, so we're ready to do the workout now. This is all I'm using. I have some power blocks. These go up to 33 pounds. They're kind of light, but it's plenty enough for me. Light for a dude, I guess. A large inflatable yoga ball. This is one of the absolute best things you could ever have. Get one of these. It is super awesome for your internal core stabilization structure. If you use this instead of a chair at a desk, you are getting such a good bang for your buck. It has completely changed my life. Specifically designed to strengthen your core. <sighs> Strengthens your back, <sighs> better performance in sports, <sighs> enjoyable sex. My trusty yoga mat, some sliders. Now I also have things like ankle weights, medicine balls, like just a bunch of BOSU balls, some straps, some bands. Oh yeah, I am gonna need my strap for this workout. And so this is all I'm using today. You really need minimal equipment to have a super effective workout at home. Another thing that I like to do is take BCAAs. I use All Max Amino Core Natural. So it's zero sugar, eight grams of BCAAs, only one gram of carbs. All natural is super important. I like to really bump up my BCAA intake, but if you wanna get it from food, you can find it in beef round, chicken breast, canned tuna, salmon, turkey breast, eggs, and Greek yogurt. 
This is the Santevia countertop water filtration system. It is very important to be having a healthy source of water. You do not want the junk that is inside your tap water. So that is my circuit. That is what I'm going to do three times over. That was round one. I'm gonna get into rounds two and three, which you don't need to see because it's the exact same. You absolutely have no excuse to not work out even when you're at home. It's, you just gotta get her done. All right, workout is all finished and I can tell you I was not in the mood. Was I in the mood for walking? No but you do these things anyway because now it is 1 p.m. and everything is done. All of my work is done, my walk is done, my workout is done, I have made a recipe, I have meditated, and I've just had a really, really good day. And we're only halfway through the day. This is another reason why getting up early matters. Now, as for weight training workouts, there really needs to be seven primal pattern movements that are involved in every single effective workout program. These movements are pushing, pulling, lunging, twisting, bending, squatting, and gait, which is walking or running. Make sure you always have those movements in every workout so that you know it's effective. Make sure you're constantly challenging your stability, just like I did with that large inflatable yoga ball. If you can and if you are ready, do not rush into these things. Use that instead of a bench as it will completely condition your internal core stabilization structures. So now I'm gonna hit the shower and I will come see you a little bit later. One thing I can say about those anvil pancakes, I am not hungry. I had breakfast at what, 8 a.m., I think? I'm absolutely not hungry still. That's just crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna see what I can do with that last pancake so I can make sure nothing goes to waste. Okay, we are all cleaned up, we're all showered. I've got my Gymshark loungewear on. This outfit is incredibly comfortable. And now I'm going to try to figure out this pancake lunch situation. I'm actually gonna Google what to do with leftover pancakes. I wonder what it would even say. <laughs> and I have a couple client calls later on today. What else do you do in lockdown? right I work from home people keep asking what I do I do not sell any products I do not partner with any companies I own my own health wellness and body image business I am an advanced holistic health practitioner individualized nutrition and weight loss specialist so I specialize in writing completely individualized programs for people in order to help them achieve optimal health and weight loss success I do a lot of autoimmune disease reversal, different things like that. So that's what I do. More about me is in the description box below. But let's get on with today and research this pancake situation. Okay, so I found PB&J pancakes. That is some of my berry compote on it. Wow, that looks nasty, eh? That's nasty. Anyway, I'm gonna reheat this in the pan. I've got some almond butter, I've got yogurt, I've got my berries. I'm gonna either use the almond butter and yogurt, I don't think I'll use both. Top it with some berries and I will have sort of a mock-up of a PB&J sandwich. <laughs> okay, check that out. That's what we're working with. I'm even gonna top that with more stevia. I may even still use some yogurt on that. We gotta make it moist somehow. This is drier than the Sahara. Okay, yeah, this is what I ended up doing. I put some yogurt on the side, I mixed stevia into the yogurt, sprinkled stevia on top. We're gonna have this as a lunch. I will let you know the verdict on the leftover pancake experiment when I'm done, and I will see ya a little bit later after my calls. 
guess what? The almond butter, berries, and yogurt, and stevia made that pancake palatable. It was delish. Now, I don't wanna sound like such an ass for dissing that recipe. It is incredibly difficult to come up with recipes for a gut cleanse that is as strict as something like the candida diet. So I am so grateful for people that do. I think it was amazing that someone was able to invent a pancake, and it's just my personal opinion. But I had to come back on and tell you how awesome it was. Now, Zoe and I are gonna answer some work emails. I'm gonna eat this orange. It is 2.30, I swear to goodness. Getting up early makes a huge difference in the amount of time. I feel like there are a million hours in every day. And I'll come back a little bit later to take you through my evening. There will be some meditating, I might do some stretching, but I will catch you later. Hope you're having an awesome day. A little longer than a few minutes later. I thought, why not look up on Google a life hack for how to remove the peel and the pith from the orange. The pith is not something I have ever enjoyed. I am meticulous and spend a ton of time that I shouldn't be spending peeling off every last bit of it. it drives me bonkers. But anyway, you wouldn't believe the amount of hacks, so we're gonna try one now. This is also kind of a pain in the ass. Oranges are a pain in the butt, man. It didn't work like it did on the guy's YouTube. That's for dang sure. Um, let's try this side. Do you ever have those days where it feels like midnight and really it's 6 p.m.? I mean, it is 6 freaking p.m. right now and I feel like I'm falling asleep. So I'm gonna do a nice stretching routine. I'm going to boil one of my dandelion root teas. I am still not hungry. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I was so full for so long. Please note, when you stretch, it's really, really important to stretch. <laughs> I think she thinks I'm talking to her. But anyway, it's really, really important to stretch. Stretching the body is just like tuning a guitar or a piano. Every single muscle in your body shares frequencies with specific organs that run along the same channel. So your body has many channels running through it. In Chinese medicine, these are called meridians. Each channel, again, shares its own set of muscles and organs. So when you stretch the body, you're actually tuning up the organs. So let's use acupuncture as an example. All of those little needles act as little antenna. They change the vibration in the muscle, thus changing the vibration in the corresponding organ, which gets that organ to function much more effectively. So when you stretch the body, you really need to be stretching a minimum of four to six days a week and stretching the entire body from head to toe. So when I do work with people one-on-one, -on -one, I am helping them retune their bodies. Your nervous system keeps record of how long and short all of your muscles are as you age. This is why a kid that continues doing the splits throughout adulthood can continue doing the splits, whereas you can pay me to do it at, well, how old am I? 38, my gosh. I don't even know which way's up today. Anyway, let's get some stretching in. Let's get our organs tuned up, and I'll show you my stretches. Hopefully this day isn't mind-numbingly boring for you. At least you're learning some interesting health tips that I'm not sure you may be new already. And in true Kelly style, we're gonna snack on this. I'll probably have a bowl of soup later if I'm still feeling not so hungry. I'm gonna have this Amy's split pea soup. The reason I love this soup is because it is cleanse friendly. That's pretty strict gut cleanse that I'm on right now. It's all just organic veggies in here. Unbelievably delicious. I really, really like this. Let's go. All right, gang, that's about as much Zoom as I can handle for today. Do you have a pair of blue light glasses? Highly recommend you get them, essential for your health, especially if you are on a weight loss journey or you want to maximize your weight loss possibilities, grab them. Anyway, I'm gonna get on to meditating. And if you wanna know what I do in my meditation, check out the video I linked below. It's just my little routine and that'll give you some insight into what I do and why I do what I do to create this amazing life that I've got. So I'm gonna meditate and then we're gonna go to bed. And that was the day. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. Be sure to create 
create a meditation space in your home specific to meditating. It does wonders neurologically for the effectiveness of your meditation. And as always, if you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please give it a thumbs up down there for me as that really does help my channel to grow. Subscribing is where all of the support does come from, so I am super grateful to any and all subscribers. If you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be notified each time I upload. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun with whatever you decide to do in the days of your life, even during lockdown. And give me some ideas below, some future videos you wanna see. What are you doing in lockdown? Do you have any ideas for me? and uh, I can't wait to catch you again in the next video. Until then, bye.